Okay, so I'm uh, JP Vincent. I had a group of about 11 people, uh, and there's a mixture of PhD students, postdoctoral uh, fellows, and undergraduates. And I, I find that's what a, it's a nice mix to have all sort of all levels um, in uh, in terms of careers, so that people can help each other. Also, it gives a, a nice diversity in the culture that people bring to the lab. And speaking of culture, we also have a lot of different nationalities, which brings. Uh, also uh, interesting relationships between people. So um, my, uh, my style, I, 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 would, I would guess, is to uh, let people really find their own niche, but m making sure that, that they do uh, through the help or the advice that I give them, but also through the help that they get from everybody else in the lab and also from our collaborators. And that's particularly true when we try to venture into techniques that we're not so familiar with. Uh, and that's the nice thing about this institute is that we have access to so, so many techniques. So principally we study uh, the fly Drosophila. Uh, that's because the genetic uh, is fantastic and, and sort of the gene genome engineering approaches are incredibly powerful. But we're really interested also in using high level microscopy, mass spectrometry, genomics techniques to, to really get to the bottom of understanding how cells within a sheet of cells behave and, and uh, find out not only where they are within within a structure, but also how uh, the structure is maintained in terms of uh, uh, maintaining its homeostatic state uh, in the face of the insults that um, any normal tissue will face during life. So the project I'm uh, proposing uh, in a nutshell involves understanding why cells need to be epithelial cells. What do they need to be with their neighbors in order to survive? So an epithelial sheet is a, is a group of cells that are all connected together by their instructions and most tissues in your body arise from epithelial sheet or are epithelial sheets. So that's an, an important aspect of, of our biology. So what we do know is that if a cell detaches from an epithelium, it tends to undergo apoptosis. That means it's going to commit suicide and disappear. And actually, in some pathologi pathological situation when this does not occur, that cell that has detached and survived can become a liability to the organism. So it's very important to understand how the cells that detach from an epithelium knows that it has to commit suicide. So uh, we're trying to understand the molecular mechanism in a way that link uh, being in touch with your neighbor and surviving, or conversely, losing contact with your neighbors and undergoing apoptosis. And in order to address this sort of general question in biology, we use the fly Drosophila uh, foremost because of all the, um, the genetic power that this uh, organism provides, but also f uh, to make use of the, the latest techniques in, gen in genomic engineering and, and genomics in general. So um, what we have already found out using Drosophila is that if you lose adhesion with your neighbors, uh, you activate a pathway, a, a signaling pathway that's mediated by a protein called junk. Uh, it's also named uh, jun kinase. So uh, what we know therefore is that loss of adhesion triggers activation of junk, which then in turn triggers cell death. What we don't know is what's the connection, the molecular connection between loss of adhesion, of adhesion and activation of GNK. And that's this, what this project really aims to address. And in order to approach this, one of the, uh, the tools we've devised is a strain of flies that allows us to detach cells very rapidly. Uh, and it's, it's almost like cutting all the cells loose from each other. And we know that the cells will undergo apoptosis in this case. And the nice thing about this tool is that it allows us uh, to have a very close temporal sequence here where we, uh, sh we, we detach the cells and then we can follow the molecular events that, that take place right after this and hopefully understand what the earliest molecular events that are crucial to triggering apoptosis.